Go. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. what's on thinking man's mind today. What do you mean when you say egress side of the door? That's a great question, thinking man, and a very important distinction that you need to understand in order to select and specify the appropriate code compliant doors and hardware. Come on in for this one year anniversary episode of Code Corner with Katie, and we'll break it down. We know the Barnum and Bailey story where he had a sign posted this way to the great egress and he tricked his patrons into leaving the building because they thought they were going to see something awesome. They didn't realize that egress is just a fancy word for the name exit. The exit side of the door, the egress side of the door is marked in X. If you're in a room like the testing room and there's a fire, you need to be able to get out of that room quickly in order to find an exit. The ingress side is the opposite side, the side where you would have a key for security purposes to lock the room. It's also called the ingress side. And so if we think of it in terms of which side are we on if we need to evacuate or leave a building, that is the egress side. So this door going into the vestibule where the arrow is, the egress side is the reception area you walk through the first set of doors and now the egress side is the vestibule area pushing your way through those doors in order to get out of the building. We can lock the ingress side of the door. In most cases, there's only one spot in the code that talks about that. I'll get to that in just a second. But the egress side, for the most part, needs to be free and one operation to get out. There are some doors that are a little trickier than others. This is a pair of cross corridor doors. You see them in hospitals and schools and other large buildings. And this, the door actually swings in the direction of egress in both directions. That's what makes it a double egress opening. And so if I were to apply the codes here, I may or may not be able to lock the egress side depending on the type of facility. There is one area where the code does not, want you to lock the ingress or egress side of the door and that's a stairwell door stairways are an exit once you reach that exit you should be safe and protected from the fire and smoke but if it's a high-rise building or even a low-rise building and you're walking down the stairs and you smell the smoke you need to be able to re-enter so the door needs to be unlocked at the time of fire but then you've got to look at your entire path of egress from that stair through the elevator lobby to reach another exit to continue your path down and out of the building. Understanding the egress side is so critical in applying the appropriate doors and hardware. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Ablo Academy by clicking in the links in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. If you have a code question, you can email me at katherine.flower at asaabloy.com, and I may even feature that question on a future episode. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner. My name is Katie Flower, and I'm here to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.